Ladies and gentlemen, this has happened. We have been declared war on by the Mero tribe, so we shall accept. They are not joined by their allies, the Axum. The Axum are too scared. They will not be attacking us this turn. Anyway, they are attacking us in our city. This is unfortunate because if we lose this city, that would suck, obviously. But we will not lose this city. It looks like we have enough units to be able to defend it. Uh, considering the, the attackers are pretty shit. But we will see. I don't know for sure. I'll see you guys in the campaign map and then we'll find out. Up in the battlefield. Our defenders are ready. We have um, positioned them where we want to have them to be able to defend. So the plan is we have these hoplites, not really hoplites, uh, citizen militia. We have them to soak up the fire. And um, we're going to be taking out as many levy spamers as possible. But as the enemy crashes in here, I'm assuming they're going to be crashing on this part. As I do that, I will sneak these guys through. And then get them from behind. In the meantime, we will be... Um, doing some damage on these guys just so we can take them out a lot easier when they first attack. We do have a ton of ammunition, so that shouldn't be a problem. Although, I do want to block up this line because then I can much more easily... Swing these guys around and uh, use them as archers to be s making the the other one softer. So swing these around a little bit. What are you doing, man? Ah, oh, I forgot to remove skirmish, which makes them stupid. Makes them completely ignore all my um, all my my uh, orders. So I could be taking out this guy using my archers, just get behind him and shoot him. But I would rather just surround him, just save my ammo. So we'll be shooting at these guys. The cool thing would be if we could take out the general before the battle even starts. That would obviously be amazing. So let's do a full charge now. We should be killing most of them. Are you really gonna start nagging now? Fucking cat. Yep. 1937. I can't really see their stats. It's annoying. Ah, come on. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Alright, so native citizen, 1937. Spare, can't see that. Fuck it. It's okay, I don't need to see the stats. Let's fire on the enemy, as he said. The Levy Spearmen will be taking some fire. They're not even facing my way, so this is great. 15 kills in one volley, that's perfect. Oh man, we need to get out. Ah, their archers are returning fire, they got 12. See if we can just sneak in here. No, we'll try to to uh, lure them in, and then from here we can uh, much more easily do damage on him. Right, let's get over here, back into position. Nubian archers are coming out. We got levy spearmen threatening the ranks here. We'll actually position these guys so that they are able to to surround the enemy. So 
So if all three of my ranks can fire at them, they're still they're, they're still not even firing back. They're just moving to work just as good. Uh, hopefully I can kill about... It would be cool if I could kill about 50 before they, they manage to return fire. Which looks pretty possible now. Oh, shit. What are they firing at? Good. They picked bad targets. Are we all firing? This is really... It's not a lot of arrows. These guys aren't firing. For whatever reason, they're not firing. I love how quickly they react when you tell them to fire. That should be it. 69 left. We will be going to the center once more. Clear out some more. This is seriously like a really conservative way to be playing. A really cautious way. Oh, they're coming back. Oh, damn it. And they got a volley off. Damn, man. That should be it. Yeah. That was it. So they got nothing to return the fire with. Which means I can just go out, all out, do whatever I want right now. I want to back these guys up. Just in case the enemy decides to charge. And then from here, I'll just be spending all my ammunition. Matter of fact, I should be killing the swordman. Sneaking this guy up. Are they firing now? You need to be firing. They're not firing. The reason they're not firing is because they're inside another unit. So, although this is not gaining a lot of kills, it's still... It's still doing damage. So you can see they're all bloodied up. Well, not all of them, but... The majority are bloodied up. So they they are losing health. And then in these next volleys, as you can see, these volleys coming in now, they're the ones doing the killing because they already soaked up the damage from the first two or three volleys. So now is when they start to fall. And these guys are swordmen. So they are actually pretty good. Can I please not have weird units toggled? I want to see these stats. But this thing is bugged, I think. Anyway, I'm going to come back to you guys when they start attacking. So, we managed to make some of them move. It seems that these guys are in pursuit. Didn't actually realize they had more archers until now. And then, obviously, I'm fighting on this corner. So, let's go ahead and take out these archers once more. The last ones. And I'll have these guys fight for now. I do not have a lot of arrows left. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Combat. Even in combat. That's not good. Especially not now. Ow. We will the skies. Yeah, I'm gonna have to retreat here. I'm gonna have to retreat so that I can get some guys to come around and uh, take out those archers if they follow. Which I assume they will. This is bad. Hits from behind is always super bad. So, when they. I'm not sure when they're planning to attack, but hopefully sometime soon. I thought they fixed this a while ago. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to be the aggressor. Which is stupid. I shouldn't have to. 
Uh, you know what? But I am going to. So I'm going to fast forward this. And maybe I'll lose because I have to be the aggressor. I don't know. But I'm going to play this fast forward. Oh, they're almost routing for no reason. Yeah, I'm going to sneak these guys in here. I'll have them fight. Sneak these guys through. All the way through. There we go. Kill as many as possible. I don't know how I can catch up with them. Probably can't. Fine. I'll let them, I'll let them regroup. Whatever. Cavalry. Well, this is going to be difficult if I have to do it this way. But I'm assuming that I'm going to be able to take him out here. Just because of this stance. I need to send one guy back. I can have two over here. If they are careful. They should be in Phalanx now. So I'll have them attack in Phalanx. That should be pretty efficient. They're uh, taking out a bunch attack. of spearmen. Yeah, they haven't killed anyone, anyone yet. So this is a piece of cake. I'm going to have these guys come in. Notice I'm only using my strongest units. That's not really good. You know what? I'm actually going to send these through here just to, just to add the outnumbered outnumbered debuff to them. That's going to probably scare them away. Probably route them quicker. I don't even know if that's truly a big factor, but it feels like it. Or I could just get them through and then attack from behind. These guys are pretty shit anyway. I don't, it doesn't matter if I lose some. As long as I save some more for my general. Good. So that's that. So now I can get my general up here. I can get two more over here. And I can begin. Oh, shoot. How didn't I see that? Didn't see that because I can't hear anything because of this fast forward. The battle is turning in our favor. Well, that should be better. That should be good. And then from here, I will just simply surround, come in, and simply surround. These are going to lose my cavalry. Uh, my, these, the cavalry are going to take them out. Obviously, they are way better than they should be. They didn't lose a single guy. Oh, full route. That was a boring battle. So I guess I finally broke them eventually. That was a really long, boring battle. So I'll see you guys on the campaign map.